The Orange has taken a lot of hits this year. Look out, blitz back side. That was a big time sack by Joe LaFage. And the injuries have plagued the team. What has been beneficial though? The depth of this squad and the versatility of the players. The opening day tailbacks were Curtis Brinkley and Paul Shiara. After Brinkley broke his leg against Buffalo, Doug Hogue, who wasn't on the opening day depth chart, now splits the running duties with Max Suter. The head coach just wanted to see what his options were. Well, we decided to just see what we had, really, in the bye week, just to take a look. Not really certain that that was the best thing to do. And we came back on Sunday and uh, worked with him some more. And uh, you know what? He was taken to it pretty good and had a pretty good grasp of what we were doing. That's what we were concerned about. Suter, also not on the opening day depth chart, started on special teams, then moved to the secondary, and is now running the ball. Just going to have to make the best of it, you know? Keep working hard at it wherever I'm playing at and do my best out there. Last Monday, he kind of called me in his office like, hey, you're going to play running back this week. You know, can you help us out? I said, sure. In the secondary, Dwayne Davis played all of last season at strong safety. In training camp, the senior was moved to corner and has played eight games there this season. Last week, Davis finally moved back to safety against Pitt. Dwayne's out there playing corner, and not that he's not a good corner, okay? But I know that he'd be comfortable in there playing safety. The secondary isn't the only position with personnel changes. The linebacking core has also seen several different lineups. Six different orange have started at line. The only constant, Jake Flaherty, who has started all nine games in the middle. Vincenzo Garuzzi started on the strong side, but now Parker Canny is seeing time. On the weak side, Ben Maldrevic started the first two games, but Mike Stenslick started the last two. I like what he's doing. I think he's doing a good job. I really do. I thought that early in the game, uh, he, was, he, he had some issues but he got back on track. As the Cuse marches down the field this weekend, some players will be out of their true positions, but they know they need to do whatever it takes to get a win. Doug Whitehorn, Citrus TV.